Hello, this is Christian in the Blood Bank, and I will be doing a trick to online video for the boss by King Tut or the Pharaoh. And I will show you exactly how you can how you get to him or and how the fight is gonna be in this video. Um, actually I kinda skipped the first part, but um what you will need to reach dungeon five of the pyramid. And um once you reach that part, I don't show you there will be a girl on that floor you will have to move all the way to the far right of the whole entire area and go up after reaching the lower part of the area and get to uh... You know what? let me see if I can actually go back and sh show let me do that let's see if I can do that real quick uh, Hello, this is Christian of the Bloodlust, and I will be doing a Trickster Online boss fight for King Tut, aka the Pharaoh. And I will be showing you how to get to the boss as well as how to overcome the trials. Uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, King Tut is around level 71. I mean, look around 70, so he's uh, accurately, he's probably 71 or 72. I'm trying to remember. I've actually fought him 12 times on this character. However, I did manage to um, remake my. I did remake my bunny, so I did fight him more times, in which I actually am wearing his boss armor. Uh, some of his boss armor, which is one, well, one of four, well, two of four. I mean, uh, the Pharaoh hat and the golden golden lion shield. There's actually a sh uh, sword, and then once you have all three, you go talk to Pharaoh, Pharaoh Kid, and he'll actually give you the, another item, which is a bonus one. Keep this in mind that each person that asks you to access the C, these items, will give you a bonus item, which will complete the set for your boss item. But, uh, I'll get that into that later, perhaps. Um, but for right now, uh, you want to go to... Dungeon, you want to go to the dungeon, dungeon five of the pyramid, which is um, a, which is a hall of hall of Le, hall of love and love affair. You want to talk to Rosemary, which she's going to ask you for Abrams. Abrams, she they will be consumed. That's why I have so many. However, you will need the, the following items altogether. You will need the subject's earring, only one. Uh, Aprons, you will need probably a couple more because they do get consumed every time you do go to fight the boss. And subjects, mask. These two will not be consumed when you go to another area. And you do have to be under level 90 as it shows right now. Uh, you level up over level 90, they will not let you back in. Just regardless. However, you can fight the boss whatever level you want to. It's just under nine, under 90. They they don't care what level you are, but if you get over 90, they won't let you. As you see, you're about to see that it'll be consumed right there, and they will teleport you to the area. The only way to get to this area is through Rosemary. So if you do have a quest, I suggest you do quest um here. I suggest you uh do your quest here first, and then uh, start bossing. Now. Um, as you want to see, you want to get here, and you want to keep keep following me. Well, you want to follow me around, right? and you want to get here to Bastet. She is the one that's going to ask to see the the ring, the uh, earring, and the uh, mask. So all you have to do is show her, and she will take you to the earring. Alright, the first part of the trial, room of the garden is test of calmness. Talk to the lieutenant and you wanna say I want to meet I want to meet the king. What kind of test? And then put let's go. After that, that's when this will go. It'll say the scarab. As you can see, you'll probably try to walk forward to see if you can get to the next area. You cannot get through the next area that way. You actually have to talk to him again 
say you want to see the king and you say I am ready well I'm ready and then move he will automatically teleport you to the next area in order for you to tell which scarab you need to uh, find is it will always be in this corner over here the one that actually attacks you is the one well the one closest to this right here this corner as you can see right now, the one that attacks you is the one that you need to kill. And it will always be in this area. No matter how many times you come here, it will always be in this area. It's very simple to kill him. As you can see, I just one shot at it. And you come back to him, or stand there, and just say, What kind of test? Finish the quest. And he will teleport you to the next area, which is test of quickness. Test, text, um, test of quickness. It will. It'll, you'll have to go all the way forward, and you'll actually have to fight the Pharaoh's mimic within two minutes. The the it seems it sounds easy enough, but the trick is these these monsters. Even though they're level one, they do hit pretty hard, especially if you are um, a magic type. Now, you are gonna need to move pretty quickly, but you're also gonna need to heal as well. So you're gonna. I would say stand here. Well, I kind of cheat that way. Then I think here, no, a little too far, a little too far. Stand here, talk to him, and then you say what kind of test. Now, the minute you say, "I guess, I guess I'm ready," that's when it will start, and you have two minutes on the clock, and they, you have to get through, just get in and out as quick as you can. So. So you gotta get past them, and they will, they will hit you, but they won't. They don't hit hard from me. Some pretty good defense, and um, I have some pretty good um, in, not endurance, but uh, HV. However, they they do hit hard if you get stuck. So. I just run through and then the mimic should be over here. I don't know why I walked past it. Level 44. Fight, hit it once. Well, not really once, but um, kill it once and you're done. Also, yes, dash does help out a lot. Oops. I don't know why I just hit that. Can't, you, I can't kill it. I'm stuck. Okay. But yeah, the timer goes out really, really quick, as you can see. And it's really easy to get caught up in these uh, monsters. So, you gotta move quickly. Alright, you just go back to him, talk to him, and he will teleport you to the next area. This area is actually tricky because it actually has a glitch for some reason to where the lie will actually kind of be obvious but then again it will trick you in a way but asking them they will say one of them will say the the key is a he will tell you it's a and or they'll say the key is b the that the other key is b but if you want to get a better understanding of the rules you'll ask her the captain and it'll say what well, um kind of test and then that's when this will happen so basically it's going to do the whole little he said she said thing so you want to watch out for who's lying and who's not however do not pay attention to well my opinion do not pay attention to the Monday Wednesday nonsense cuz it change it changes no matter what but what um, how many times you come here it changes like every time you visit this area right here it will change their Positions, it'll either have them closer to her or a little bit further. So I normally talk to Sergeant first, and he'll say the key is A, he will tell you it's A. And he'll say the key is A, he will tell you it's A. They're both in unison. Say, I want to see the king, and then this time you'll say, I'll pass your test. So that's when they ask you which is the answer. Key is A. Now, when after you do that, they they will ask you a second question, so you got to be mindful. Uh, these normally 
or a part of the question see as you see the can pick jars what does M M M C represents and I don't have that one so since I don't have that one just you know utilize your choices which one it represents all right with the Falcon's head you know this one is not it so cancel out Falcon Harpy Mo the baboon cancel that out and the jackal so cancel that out so Emmett say will be human and then she will teleport you to the next area now for this area the top of that she will basically you will since if you're watching this video you don't really have to talk to her right away but she'll just basically tell you that she needs you to fight the uh, fight these three technically well to me they're not really hard but they're only level 55 and as you know everyone everyone has like a resistance or something and you just fight them and you need to pick up these the round seals there will be three that you have to get from each of the ones that you each of the uh what you just saw see captain by him he drops the gray one the five sergeant or surgeon and he dropped the dark don't don't worry about these that's actually an event so if you see those just don't worry about them. after you have all three you will talk to her again and she will teleport you to the boss area however once you get once you get to the boss area, the boss area won't start right away. The boss fight won't start right away. You have to wait a couple of seconds and he will pop up. But um, do be prepared that he will attack you. And um, there is a move. There are a couple of moves that you do need to watch out for. As you see now, I'm in the boss fight. He will pop up on the screen, but um. There's a move that will be that will show up as a blue ring that you are gonna to want to avoid at all costs because it can he can teleport you out of that. I'll show you right now. Yeah, level 71. He does have like five bars of power. So. That. You want to get all of that as quickly and as possible as you can. So if you get to, if we catch you in it, it will teleport you back to a uh, mega. So you want to get all that. You got to use the
Well, that's the boss fight.